I am honored to say a few words about an extraordinary public servant, John E. Fogarty, who represented Rhode Island for 26 years in the House of Representatives. Indeed, he will always be my congressman, and his bow tie will always be a symbol of integrity and decency and commitment to working Americans to make their lives better, to make all of our lives better. Initially a bricklayer by trade, Fogarty used his time in Congress to build up our nation's investment in health care and research. As chairman of the subcommittee that oversaw funding for health and other public welfare matters, John Fogarty worked to improve health services, their facilities, and research, both here and abroad. He understood that increasing funding for the National Institutes of Health would allow us to conduct the cutting-edge medical research that continues to improve the quality of life for Americans today. He brought national attention and resources to the challenges of developmentally disabled and mentally ill Americans. He also recognized the importance of libraries in our communities and worked to expand library services. Speaking after his sudden and unexpected death, Senator John Pastore praised Congressman Fogarty for his dedication, in Senator Pastore's words, to making life more livable, health more universal, and death and disease less menacing for others. Both Rhode Island and our nation were extraordinarily well served by the humble congressman from Harmony, Rhode Island, and Americans from all walks of life continue to benefit from his efforts. I consider it a privilege to have once served in the seat he held. His example of selflessness, integrity, and decency is a model for all public servants. The John E. Fogarty Foundation for Persons with Intellectual and Developmental Disabilities has built upon the foundation laid by John Fogarty to improve the quality of life for those with disabilities. And I wish you all the best as you continue to carry out his extraordinary legacy and his extraordinary work.